Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these blossom scrubbies. The written pattern is on my website, Nastasia.com. I'm using Red Heart Scrubby Cotton. You can use one skein to make the scrubby all one color or make it multicolored. And a size G hook. Because textured yarn can be a little rough on the hands, I always rub on some cream first to help my skin. If your skin is super sensitive, put a flexible bandage anywhere the yarn rubs across your fingers. You'll find it really helps. Throughout this pattern, we're going to be making the same kind of petals. I'm using normal yarn first so you can see the stitches. First, make a magic ring, which is just a very loose slip knot. Chain one. In this ring, do one single crochet, followed by four treble crochet stitches. If you need help with the basics, be sure to check out my beginner crochet videos on YouTube. Then do another single crochet. Here's that petal again. Single crochet, four treble crochet stitches, followed by another single crochet stitch. Now, do one more in the ring for a total of three petals. Then, pull that starting tail tightly to close the ring. By the way, be sure to click on the subscribe button to get notified of new videos from me each week. Find the center of the petal and insert your hook into it and make a slip stitch. Next, chain four. Slip stitch in the middle of the next petal. And chain four again. Next petal, find the middle and slip stitch in it. Do one last chain four and slip stitch to the original chain ring. Let's work in that first ring. Chain one and make a petal. One single crochet, four treble crochet stitches, followed by one last single crochet stitch. Now we're going to do another petal in the ring, but we're going to connect the first single crochet of the petal, like this, to the round before it. Then finish your stitch. Now, just finish up this petal with your four treble crochet stitches followed by a single crochet. We need to do this to keep the layers of petals from flopping all over the place. I'll show you this process again in the next ring. Single crochet, four treble crochet stitches,
single crochet. Then connect that first layer with a single crochet stitch. Now finish your four treble crochet stitches in that ring. Followed by one last single crochet stitch. Do the same process for that last ring. And if you're on social media, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Here is the blossom thus far with the scrubby texture yarn. Next, make a slip stitch on your hook to join the pink in the middle of a petal. Do your four chains. Then slip stitch in the middle of the next petal. Follow this process around. Same as before, each ring will get two petals in them. One single crochet, four treble crochet, one single crochet. Begin the second petal by joining with a single crochet. Then finish that petal and all of the rings around. With the green, you can either do one or two petals per loop. In my sample, I did only one petal per loop. And on that last single crochet of the petal, that's where I joined it to the previous round. And here is the finished Blossom Scrubby. To view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on the subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to like and comment on this video. Check out the description or the info button of this video for more information. And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.